Today we're going to do a short leg, um, short leg uh, fiberglass cast uh, using cast tape, three inch cast tape. Um, this is McKesson, you can use 3M, there's plenty of products out there. Um, this is the largest diameter we have of compression app. Usually, you know, a leg of this diameter, I would probably use four, if not five inch compression app, but we're going to make this work today, okay? So because of, because of the diameter challenges, we're gonna measure a little bit greater than we normally would. I'm gonna go from about mid-thigh, about one hand's length past the toes. And from that point, we're just gonna simply cut. Okay, now, after that is done, just, ladies and gentlemen, just like you would put on a, a stocking or a pair of pantyhose, we're gonna bunch the stocking up, come over the toe, sort of relax the leg. And you see, this is already starting to get tight. So again, we probably use a larger diameter to do this, four inch. Now, you saw that I was, I'm leaving some slack off the toe. We wanna leave this here. That's gonna be key here in a few minutes. So now, what we're going to do is we'll just have them in a relaxed position to begin with. Because it take, unlike a short arm, it takes quite a bit of padding and quite a bit of contouring uh, to do a cast correctly of the leg. So again, um, be patient. There's going to be a few different techniques that I'm going to use in the wrapping procedure for this. But simply, we're going to start right at the base. Okay, the base of the toes, so the base of the great toe, so the MP joint right here, toe. As your marker, you're going to place your cast pad. And then you're going to be working up, okay, distal proximal, overlaying about half to one third diameter of cast tape. Now, when you get to the heel, cover the heel, then take your next pull, come around the foot, and then around the top, the top of the heel. The heel is completely covered at this point, and that way we can just continue wrapping up. You want just enough tension to cover, cover the leg where it's nice and flat, but you don't want to push any tension down into the leg at all. You also want to double this if possible. You want plenty of padding, especially on something that may be toe touch weight bearing. So again, starting where I began before, I'm gonna just come in and put a second layer. And I'm gonna do this rather quickly. We're right at the ankle, the ankle and where um, the tibia and the fibula come in right here at the tumor joint, we want plenty of padding. Again, nice contouring here at the leg. Positioning is key. When we get to do, when we begin to do this, when I make sure we're at 90 degrees when we actually start putting the casting material in. You want to come up, you want to clear about two thirds of the, the gas rod with this. And so this is going to be a, a fairly short cast uh, today. Okay, good. So again, nice and, nice and pretty. You'll take our ends and fold them down. This is really tight. Okay, now, one other thing I tend to do at this point, let me grab a little bit more cast. Sorry. To make sure you've got plenty of padding over the medial and lateral malleoli and to give yourself a nice contouring surface, we're gonna kind of do a, st a stirrup maneuver. Beginning medially, kind of anterior medial, we're gonna lay this down and we're gonna to come to the top. We're gonna to tear and then I'm gonna come over. And I'm gonna tear. And I'm gonna come over. This was gonna allow that contouring that I was speaking of earlier. Nice even surfaces. Remember, 
we're getting our diameter nice and even. Take a casting material. Again, one simple duck and a squeeze. Maybe having a drape on the floor um, is appropriate if you, you, you think you're going to you know, drip a lot of excess material. But if you get it nice and squeezed out, you should be okay to begin the wrap procedure. Again, I always start at the foot. Okay, I tend to put a layer down on the foot first before I do this next piece. And that is, I'll balance this here for just a second. And again, if, as you can see, I'm doing a nice double layer on this foot. I'm addressing the foot and ankle and heel first before I worry about the rest of the leg. Okay, and with the material still damp, we're going to ensure molding its proper position. Okay, tower neutral, just about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more plantar flexion. And then we're going to smooth this material with either castellation or a little bit of excess water until this sets. Again, I'm, if, as you can see, I'm always ensuring position. I'm always, I'm holding and making sure that I'm ensuring that proper position. And there you have it, one short leg cast.